Prime Minister Yoshiko Noda wants to restart a nuclear plant in western Japan. He says it's vital to avoid power shortages this summer. But he needs the approval of the local government. The Nuclear Committee of Fukui Prefecture has accepted a draft report guaranteeing the safety of the two reactors at the OI plant. A panel of experts met on Sunday, but their meeting was delayed for about an hour by protests against the restart. Panel members reviewed a draft of their final report. They say the new safety standards decided by the central government reflect all the available information at this point. They concluded that the OE plant has sufficient safety measures, even if the reactors are hit by powerful earthquakes and tsunami. But the new standards allow the power company to postpone the drafting of further safety procedures. Building a facility to house the accident task force at OE will take three years. And a ventilation system with special filters for radioactive substances will also take three years to install. Some experts doubt whether the safety measures at the OE plant reflect the lessons learned from the Fukushima accident. The panel has made a list of requests to the NOTA administration and the power company. They include preparations for accidents and a new regulatory body. NOTA repeated his pledge to restart the power plant. I cannot allow power blackouts to happen. It would be devastating for the nation. I believe it was time for me to make the decision. With the committee's agreement, the report will be submitted to the Fukui governor as early as Monday. The governor will then inspect the plant and is likely to make a decision within a week on a restart. If all goes as planned, it'll be the first nuclear power station to resume operations since all of Japan's reactors went offline in May.